Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be building a tab switching project. So now, uh, as you can see, we have personal information. We're going to be able to switch uh, these tabs. Okay, so we have my skills. It's going to display uh, the skills, personal information, education, experience, about. Okay, so this project looks like a small project. It's not really small and it's also a little bit uh, tricky than it looks. But yeah, we're going to build this in this project. Uh, but before we go into the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the video. I don't want to make this video long, so I've already uh, done the cleanup and I've included the images that we're going to use for this project. And also, I've already installed cell components, which we are going to be using for styling in this project. So go ahead and install cell components. Okay, and I've also created a data file. So this is just the dummy data that we're going to be using for this project. Uh, you can use any kind of data that you want to use so this is just the dummy data you can uh, get that from the description and also i have a global style so this is a start component uh, style sheet there's nothing really much in here it's just a font and a basic page resetting i've done i don't want to waste your time uh, recreating these files okay so now after installing style components i'm going to cancel this and then go to the index and then on top of the app.js after you've created a global style and then you want to import your global style here so the global style above the app.js and then save so to check if it's working go to the body and then say background color so the background color i'm going to change this to maybe slate blue just to check if it's working so i'm going to run npm start npm start Okay, so this so this is the com uh, the complete project. I'm going to cancel this out. Okay, so it's loading. As you can see, the components is working. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, get rid of this background. Uh, so if I go to to Figma, so this is kind of the design that we're going for. Okay, so to create this kind of design, uh, it's just multiple layers of uh, you know you just put colors behind each other, and then you put layers on top. It's just like a lot of colors with blur on it just to create that effect okay i'm going to redo that okay so anyways these images are provided for you so all you need to do is just export this uh, as an image so i have like a couple of these kind of designs okay so just export that as it is and then when we go back to uh, vs code i want to import the background image so i'm going to say import so the background image, uh, that's the one I've exported from uh, from Figma. So I'm going to say import PG. So that's the background from. So the background is going to come from the uh, IMG. IMG. Uh, it's just one dot and then IMG. And then here we're going to say BG. I think it's an SVG file. I'm pretty sure it is that. And then for the background, we're going to say actually in the body. So in the body, so we're going to say mean height. It's going to be 100 VH. And then we're going to do background position. Background position to center. And then we're also going to do background size. Background size. Background size to cover as well. Not contain, but cover. We're going to cover the whole background. Okay. So our main color, I'm just going to paste in a color that we're going to be using for our text and everything. So I'm just going to say color. It's going to be this color here. Okay, so for the background image, I'm going to say background, just background. And then I'm going to do URL, URL for our background. And then in here, we're going to do, uh, to put that variable, the BG, which is the background. And then I'm going to save. As you can see, the background is now applied. There it is. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, there's ambulances outside. Or oh, police, I don't know. Okay, so now we have the background. I'm also going to target the paragraph. I want the paragraph to have a line height. Uh, line height of 1.9 rem. Paragraphs. And then we're mainly going to be using uh, H4s for headers in here. And then I'm going to do font weight. Also, don't forget to download the font that you want from Google Fonts. Okay, I've already done that, so I don't want to waste your time downloading the fonts and everything. And then font size, 
I'm using pop pins in this project. So the font size is going to be 1.5 frame. 1.5 frame. 1.5 frame. Okay, like that. And then inside the components, there's nothing in the components. It's just an empty folder. Okay, I'm going to create a new file. So this new file is going to be called uh, tabs. Okay, tabs.js. So this file is going to be storing all of our tabs. Okay. And then I'm going to create a functional component. All right. And then I'm going to save. And then I'm going to create another component. So this new component, this one is going to be called uh, personal information. It's going to store our personal information. Personal info.js. Okay, and then I'm going to do a functional component and then export. And then I'm going to save. Okay, so inside the app.js, I'm going to create a container which is going to uh, contain our tabs and the personal information. I'm going to say dot tabs container. Con stands for container. You can name the class whatever you want. And then in here, I'm going to say personal info. So this is where the personal information is going to be. And then below that, I'm going to do the tabs. I want the tabs to be below the personal information. And then I'm going to create a style component style here. I'm going to say const styled. So this is going to be styled app. It's going to be a style component. Or you can say app styled. It, it's up to you. Okay. So in here, I'm, I'm going to import style components. So don't forget to import style components up here. Okay. So I, I do that. I have a plugin that does that automatically. So I don't need to do it. Okay. So what am I going to be putting in here? I'm going to take this styled app. Actually, I think I'll treat the other way around. It's up to you how you want to name it. App styled. I think, oops, that's what I'll do. And then I'll uh, copy this. And then I'm going to replace this uh, main div with the app styled. Well, take away the class. Okay, so there it is. So now in the app styled, I'm going to give this a minimum height, min height. So the min height for this one is going to be 100 VHS or same as the body so, and then i'm going to do width so the width is going to be 100 percent and then uh, we're going to do a padding you, c you can choose not to use this padding but that's what i want to use for this project and then i'm going to do top and bottom is going to be 10 ram and then 6 ram left and right okay so now i'm going to target the tabs container i want to display that as a grid okay i think for for this to make sense i'm going to go to the tabs container and then give it a background color so you see what I'm talking about. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Figma. And then I'm going to, to be exporting some values. So if you want this uh, nice shadow from this. I'm going to go to inspect. So here that's I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be copying styles from here. Like let's say the shadow. If I want a specific shadow from here. I'll be copying that. And then I'm going to paste it here. Just to make sure everything is, uh, is correct. Okay, so what I'm going to do uh, is inside the uh, tabs in here, that's what I want to do. I'm going to say const tabs, tab, tabs, or tabs styled, whatever, styled. And then I'm going to say is close to, so this one I'm going to say styled.diff. It's going to be a div as well. Styled.diff, const import styled styled dot div okay so make sure it's a div and then we're going to do the styles okay so in here um i'm going to give to paste in a background color so this is the background color that we're going to be using so th these uh, specific values are coming mainly from figma so you do like design specifically in figma with you know it's much easier to do all those kinds of shadows and then you just export and then I'm, I'm just going to do a backdrop filter back drop uh, filter so this one is going to be like a blur I want the blur for example if I put an image behind uh, blur so the blur is going to be like nine pixels if I put an image behind one of the items we have here there's going to be like a glassy effect which is like the blur and then I'm going to do border radius so I'm just going to do nine pixels for the border radius. And then I'm going to do, yeah, I think, yeah, a box shadow as well. I'm just going to paste in a bo box shadow. I'll paste in a box shadow. And then I'll take this tab styled. I'll replace. I'll replace. 
Okay, so now there's nothing in our tabs, so we don't really see any kind of change. Okay, so uh, to, to eliminate that, we need to uh, get the tabs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import uh, the tabs. Okay, so the tabs are inside the da data. I'm going to import data from uh, dot dot, I think, store dot data. That's where we want the data. Okay, the data is coming from uh, the data here. Okay, so down here I'm going to create a state value. I want to store that data coming from the data file in the state value. So, so this the state for this data is going to be information. Okay, I'm going to say info, and then I'm going to set info. That's where I'm going to set the info from, and then we're going to do a use state. U state, make sure you import U state above here like this. U state, okay. So inside the U state, I'm going to pass in the data. This data, whatever data that is coming from there, I want to pass it uh, in here. Okay. So we want to be able to uh, render that data. Okay. So to render that data uh, down here in the tabs tile, I'm going to create another class. It's going to be tabs container. So this one is going to contain the tabs. It's like the parent main container uh, below the tab styled. And then below that, I'm going to say uh, it's going to contain our buttons. Okay, I'm going to say btn container, btn container. Okay, so the button, the button container is going to contain the tabs that we're going to be moving around on. Okay, so inside the uh, button container, I'm going to say info. I'm going to actually not yeah info the state the state so the state is the info i'm going to map that i'm going to map and then i'm going to get individual i'm just going to say item and then the index okay so we have item index and the whole thing okay so now we just want the item and the index so we're mapping that and then we're going to return so what are we going to return we're going to return a button so the, uh okay so this button is going to have a key so the key is going to come from the item dot id, item dot id. So th th that's the key because it's a list. It's a list. It's going to display a list of buttons. Okay, so that's why we're using the uh, key because it's going to return a list. Okay, so now in uh, in this button we're going to give it a name. So the name of the button is going to be uh, it's going to be item dot tab okay so that's the name the tab is coming from this data all right so now we have buttons as you can see we have nice background and nice shadows okay and nice nice buttons which we haven't styled yet okay so um before we do that i think what i'm going to do is i'll go back to the app.js so now as you can see we had some buttons so in the app.js, I'm going to do uh, a few more styles uh, before we do anything. Actually, I think I'll, I'll start with the personal info. The personal info is like the left side. Okay, so the personal info, I'll start with that. I think that would make sense. Okay. But before we start with the personal info, if I go to the uh, to the tabs, if I go to the tabs, I'm going to, where's the tabs? okay it's already open here okay so if i go to the tabs we have button container and then below that um, uh, below button container i'm going to render the the tabs okay so we have buttons which are going to switch the tabs on so these are the buttons we're going to switch the tabs with i mean okay so below that i want to render the data which is uh, which are the tabs Okay, so what am I going to do? Uh, down here, I'm, I'm just going to render the data. So the data is going to come from a function up here. I'm going to create a function, const render data. So that's what I decided to name the function. You can name it whatever you want. So this function, uh, its sole purpose is responsible for rendering the data. Okay. So uh, down down here, after the this button, I can just say, uh, render data render data okay so now the data is going to be uh, rendered here 
so we have uh, personal information uh, we have uh, education experience everything is going to be rendered here okay so uh, beside the personal information uh, in the app.js we have yeah we have personal info and then uh, actually we have two personal we have personal information and just personal component so those are two different components okay so the, the personal info I don't need to uh, do that in the tabs I'm just gonna do it directly in here I'm just going to create a style here I'm just say const uh, styled personal info Actually, I prefer to do it the other way around so it's going to be a div it's going to be styled and then I'm going to do dot div yeah I'm um, it is so weird just to switch from component to component just to make this thing work uh, okay I'll copy this I'll replace okay so now we have the personal info component so I'm, I'm, I'm going to create a, a class name you can decide whatever you want to call this class name so this class name is going to be uh, personal info uh, container so that's the name of the class it's going to contain all of the personal information so inside there we have the avatar container avatar container you can name it whatever you want so I'm going to name it avatar container and then we have the avatar avatar and then in there we have an image and then the source I'm going to say avatar okay so we just need to uh, import that image from the uh, from the images folder so import avatar like this import avatar from image avatar.svg so it's going to import that avatar look how big it is so yeah we need to style uh, let's do the styles later now we just need to uh, add the text and then we have avatar container with avatar and then we have dot the right side so the right section of this I'm going to say right avatar right avatar so that's the right section we're going to have an h4 so you can decide what to co to put in this h4 in the paragraph so I'm just going to s uh, put this in the h4 in the paragraph and also uh, below that we have another div you can use an, a normal button or a div with the class of contact button okay so, so this will be like a, another button but you can use a button an anchor tag if you want to make it go somewhere but this is just for demonstration purposes just to show you how to do the styles and everything okay so now we have uh, we have put the right side uh, bel below the avatar container we have we're going to have some information so this one's going to be P it's going to be about text okay so the, here I'm just going to paste in some lorem if some text you can do lorem 30 to, do, should, to generate 30 words I'm just going to paste in some lorem here okay you can get this lorem or you can put your own information okay uh, below that I'm just going to say dot icon icon text I'm going to do some icons as well icon text so here is like a, a main container of the icons and then here I'm just going to say icons okay so another container as well so I'm just going to have the children now so the children each class name is, is called icon icon okay so in each inside the the icon I'm going to say image so the image I'm going to import the, uh, the image from the image folders from the image folder not folders okay and then below that I'm, I'm going to have a paragraph so here I'm just going to say London United Kingdom uh, United Kingdom okay so like like that and then here I'm, ju I'm just going to import some images I'm going to import so what image am I importing here I'm it's called location location from dot dot img so I if you uh, look at the I uh, image you can see pretty much we have uh, location there it is location dot svg so that's what I'm looking for where, where am I uh, yeah so I'm looking for location location dot svg that's the one that I want location okay I'm not going to bore you importing uh, all of the images that we're going to be using I'm just gonna 
paste in all of the images that we're going to use okay all right so now you have location i'm just going to say location okay so now we should have a location icon there it is so we have location london london united kingdom okay we have the location so now after the uh, the this icon i'm going to paste in more icons okay i'm just cop gonna copy and paste this i'm going to change the name from location to a different name so this one is going to be age okay so age you can say maybe uh, i don't know you can say 21 years old that's my age 21 years old okay so yeah you can just say 21 is uh the age not whatever this is age okay age so now we have the age i'm just going to paste in the other two icons okay so i don't want to bore you okay so now we have age and contact so all of the icons should show one two three four yeah now we have four, four icons okay so but there's something missing here the styles are missing okay so in here that's where we're going to do some styles okay so uh, i'm going to also copy that uh, same background okay and then i'm going to do a, a backdrop backdrop filter and then it's going to be a blur and then it's going to be nine pixels i'm just going to do the same thing for the border radius okay i'm going to do border radius and margin bottom and then i'm going to do border i'm going to do a border around it so the border is going to be so yeah i think i'll do two pixels two pixels two pixels solid and then color is going to be white okay so that's the for the border and then i'm just going to post paste in the values of the box shadow these are coming from figma so it's quite long too for me uh, to to write down okay there it is so now we have a wide nice border here okay there it is so now let's continue with the styles okay so what i'm going to target now is i'm going to target the personal information container which is this one personal info target that class down here i'm just going to say maybe i think it's good to comment personal info whatever target that and then i'm just going to give it a padding i want the padding around so i'm just going to say padding 2.5 ram top and bottom 2.5 ram and then left and right i'm going to do 2 ram okay so i just want a nice padding around it so now as you can see we have a nice padding okay uh, let's keep going so in there i'm just going to start the avatar container so we have the avatar container avatar container and then inside the avatar container we're going to do a display grid display grid if you remember what we have in the avatar container we have two items there so we're going to do grid template columns we're going to repeat that and then we're going to have two columns and then one fr it means they're going to be equal okay as you can see we have the side by side now their grid okay so now what what i need to do is i need to target the avatar itself okay so in there i'm just going to target the avatar avatar and then i'm going to have a width 100 percent so with a width of 100 percent and then border radius border radius 10 pixels and then margin right oops 10 pixels and then margin margin right so for the margin right i want a space on the right side i want a margin okay so for the margin right i'm going to say true ram and then uh, padding right Do, actually i don't think i need padding out oh, let's see maybe for now we need it so padding right three ram if we don't need it we'll remove it later and then i'm we're also going to do display flex and then align items to center so want everything to be aligned uh, centered and then i'm going to target the image so the image is going to have a width of 100 percent and it's also going to have a border radius of 10 pixels same as the container okay 10 pixels okay there's the image with a nice border around it so it's too big don't worry we're still styling 
Okay. So after that, uh, after the we're, we're still in the avatar container, right? After the avatar, we have the right avatar. So the right section. Okay. So on on the right avatar, uh, we're going to do display flex justify content space between and then we're going to do flex direction column okay and then uh the, oh, actually we want the padding the paragraph in there to have a padding so the paragraph only to have a padding of one ram top and bottom and then zero left and right okay so there it is everything is looking neat <laughs> Not neat, but uh, it, it's looking, it's coming up nicely. Okay, so now after the right avatar, I need to also style the contact button. Dot contact, btn. That's what we named the class. And then we have background color. So the background color, I'm just going to paste in the color here, the color stuff. Okay. So yes, the hex and the color is going to be white, and then we're going to have a padding. Top and bottom is going to be. 0.6 RAM and then uh, 0.9 RAM left and right and then the text align text align to center okay and then yeah that's pretty much it for now there's our button oh we need the border radius I think the border radius is going to be border radius uh, I'll do seven pixels for now okay so Actually, we need to also do the about text. About text. Okay, so here we're going to have a padding. The about text is going to have a padding of 1.5 RAM top and bottom. 1.5 RAM. Left and right is going to be zero. Okay, and also we need to finally target the icons about text and then here I'm just going to target the icon text icons text and then we have icons inside okay and then we have icon we're going to target the individual icon we're going to have display flex and then align items to center okay and then we're going to have a padding top and bottom is going to be 0 0.5 RAM. So what's going on with the percentage 0 0.5 RAM and left and right is going to be zero, and then I'm going to target the paragraph in, in the padding left. Oh, uh, one RAM. Okay, N nice. Everything might not make sense at the moment, but we just need to display this in a sort of a grid. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. So this buttons and this contact information is going to be in a grid okay so inside the app that's where i'm going to do the magic okay inside the app tabs container so we have personal information and tabs okay so this is the personal information and th these are the tabs i'm going to do that uh, as a grid display grid okay and then i'm going to do width 100 percent and then Grid temporary columns. I'm going to have repeat, and then I'm going to have eight columns. One FI. You're going to see why we're doing that. One FI, and then I'm going to do grid gap. Grid gap. Uh, maybe something like two RAM. Okay. Uh, width 100%. Yeah. And then we're going to have a mean height. Maybe 10 VH or something. Something like that. Okay, so now, as you can see, our grid is showing up, but something is a bit messy. Okay, I'm going to inspect this. Okay, so this is our grid now. We have eight columns, okay? So I want this to cover three columns, uh, actually, one, two, three, yeah, three columns, and then the, the tabs to cover the rest of the space remaining, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to personal information. So when I go to personal info, that's when I want to say, oh, I want this uh, personal info item to cover this much space. Okay. So in this case, I want this uh, to cover from one to four. I want to say grid, 
grid column so it's going to cover from uh, one to four uh, from one to four columns okay okay so it's covering from one to four now and also now on the t uh, the tabs uh, okay so for the tabs I want the tabs to cover from four all the way to the end okay I'm going to say grid column is going to cover from four all the way to the end which is minus one so if you want to go all the way to the end you just need to specify minus one okay I'm going to also give this a margin bottom so the margin bottom for this one is going to be something like 30 30 pixels as well okay so we have uh, we also need a border radius for this one yeah we have nine pixels nine margin bottom yeah and, and the border I think I did 10 for the other one so I think it makes sense to say 10 border radius is going to be two pixels uh, solid solid and then hash ff so this is going to be the white color okay uh, and I've already done the box shadow so I think we're good for now let me refresh this okay so yeah we also want the padding as well so yeah for, for the padding uh, mainly I'm, I'm going to do the padding inside the tabs container okay so in the tabs container dot tabs container if you remember so we have tabs container I want the padding around around okay tabs container I'm going to say padding we're going to do the same we did for the contact info so top and bottom is going to be 2.5 RAM left and right it's going to be 2 RAM okay so we're going to have a nice 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 padding okay now we have a nice padding okay there's something wrong with the contact info now let's go back and finish this styling, styling of that okay personal info actually so personal info I'm looking for the icons the icons should have uh, like display flex okay because the, uh, the icons want them to be uh, hold on icons icon yeah they should have a display flex they do what's the parent container let me inspect this inspect icon oh where's the display flex display flex yep I don't know why the display flex is not working icon icon what did I name wrong here just try to save everything up and then I'm going to refresh this seems to be not working I can I have no idea why the styles are not being applied yeah I just need to double check if I've named this correctly okay icon text not icons so I'm pretty sure I did icon text here okay still not working icon text icons icon icon text icons icon hmm, that's strange okay I'm going to figure out why this is not working pretty sure there's something wrong with the styles somewhere global icons okay uh, don't worry we'll fix this later let's do something else for now I'm not going to stress 
to stress over this. Oops, what's this? All right, all right, I'm going to stress now. I uh, will fix it later, don't worry. So now let's focus on doing the tabs, okay? I just don't know why these uh, <laughs> styles are not working. about text that is strange let me double check over the container ah aha uh -huh. over the container okay they are inside the wrong <laughs> the wrong container personal uh, avatar container they shouldn't be inside the avatar container okay so the avatar container should only uh, oops I'll cut this icon text and the about text I'll cut they shouldn't be inside the avatar container Okay, so the other uh, they should be outside the other container somewhere like here. All right, so now they're outside. I just these styles are messed up uh, quite a bit. I mean, I disabled the plugin that uh, formats the, uh, the automatically. I didn't like it. Okay. So now let's save. Oh, okay, there we go. Now these tiles are nice and cleaner because I was uh, putting everything inside the wrong container. <laughs> okay, so now, yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, personal information section. I'll see you on the next one. We're going to work on the tabs. Okay, welcome back. So now let's work on the tabs section. Uh, we're going to style that. We're going to start with my skills and then personal info, education, uh, until the end. Okay, so uh, I'm going to close this personal info. And then I'm going to close the global as well because I'm not going to be using it for now. Okay, so in, in the tabs, uh, in, in the tabs, in, uh, I'm going to create another component. So the main, the uh, first component is going to be my skills. Actually, I think I'll start styling the uh, buttons first, okay? And then uh, we are going to style the rest of the the tabs, okay? I'll copy the copy the button container class, and then uh, inside the tabs container, I'm going to say button container. So the button container is going to have a padding. Actually, padding bottom bottom it's going to be 2 RAM okay all right so I'm pretty sure tabs button yeah so this one is going to have a class name tabs uh, tab btn btn okay in there i'm going to paste that and then i'm going to do background it's going to be transparent back ground transparent okay we're going to have fun family inherit inherit and then font size inherit as well uh, outline none border none and then we're going to cursor pointer and then we're going to uh i think uh cursor and then we're going to do in the padding so top and bottom is going to be one rem left and right is going to be zero and then we're going to do a transition it's going to be like 
uh, 0.2 seconds is going to be a quick transition and then I'm going to do opacity we're going to do 0.5 seconds not seconds actually just 0.5 okay so that's going to be like our opacity and then and not I don't want the last child of the button and not that's why we're using the pseudo selector I don't want the last child so and not last child okay it's last I don't want the last child to have, to have a margin of right but otherwise I want everything else to have a margin of right of 2.5 frame 2.5 frame okay I don't want the last one to have uh, to have the uh, margin and then I'm going to do a hover so when I hover when I hover uh, let's make sure it's like this when I hover I want to copy this transition to paste in the transition and then I'm going to do border bottom uh, border bottom is going to be something like two pixels and then solid solid and then the color is going to be black h00 so zero zero is for black and then the opacity is going to be to its full opacity which is one okay and then I'm going to save this all right so now it's like working nicely we're hovering okay so now let's go ahead and create a component for the my skills okay so the component for that I'm just going to name that skills new file just skills .js okay I'm just going to react function component okay so in the skills um, it's going to have like progress bars and images and all that kind of stuff okay so what I'm going to do is uh, in the render data I'm going to return for now I'm just going to return the skills okay so the skills is going to take a prop which is going to be the info which is our state state data okay so I'm passing in the state data so we can have access to that inside the um, skills okay so in here uh, in in the skills so we're, we're going to have access to the data okay so in here I'm just going to say uh, info info okay so here I'm, go I'm going to do some destructuring I'm going to destruct some information I'm going to uh, destructure the description from the data description and then progress images coming from our data so the it's going to come from our first our first object okay so it's going to come from our first object I want to target the first so I'm doing zero so the country starts from zero so I'm going to select the first object and then on that first object I'm going to destruct the description and the images I'm only want these values okay from this uh, first object okay so down here I'm, I'm going to say const here I'm just going to say uh, skills skills styled which is equals to styled then dot div okay so in here I'm just going to replace replace everything all right so now we've uh, replaced that we just also need to uh, actually I'm going to create a, uh, something here I'm just going to do a paragraph so the paragraph is going to have a class class name of description description okay and then in here it's going to display the description information description information okay so in here I'm just going to start the description I'm going to say dot description description make sure this you name your class is what you want and then I'm going to do padding bottom it's going to be 2 RAM not 1 but 2 RAM alright so now we should have some kind of information but now nothing is showing because when I go we're actually rendering the data 
skills hold on we should have some information here somewhere tabs 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 I think I know why okay uh, let's keep uh, let's keep going and then we're going to fix uh, how we can display the information okay because we haven't selected what we want to display yet that's why we are not displaying anything yet but when I put something here there should be something here okay but now we just need to do a conditional rendering okay so actually let's do that now so in here in the render data I'm going to say if if I'm going to actually create a state I'm going to say const state is just a number so this state is going to store like some numbers set value so in here I'm going to say use state use state okay by default I want to start on zero on number zero so if I say I want to start on number zero it means I want to start on the first object if you say you want to start on the second object you say I want to start on the number one it goes on like from zero one two three like that okay so I want to start on zero it means I'm going to start on the first one okay so the default value is going to be zero so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if value so if value is goes to uh, info info which is the information and then the object if the object is goes to zero what do I want to do so if the if it's like that if the value is zero in this case it is zero I want to display something okay so it's like a condition okay so it's zero that means I'm going to return I'm going to return the skill sk skills did I name that skills yeah skills I want to return the skills as long as the state value is goes to zero and then in here I'm going to say info and then it pass back the information okay as long as it's goes to zero the state I should have some information here seems like it's not working but uh, we're going to work out why it's not working so we are rendering the data make sure it's a it's an arrow function if value info oops info is goes to zero and then we're going to display the skills and then we're passing in the information okay let's see why tabs container okay oh we're not calling the function here we need to call this function so make sure you're calling the function okay even though the data is not showing but now we're doing the right thing we're calling the function but everything should work now just refresh the thing okay N nothing is showing that's strange uh, let me double check why this is the issue this is an issue render data it's a function hmm why is this an issue okay we're returning I don't know why this is an issue at the moment set value oh set value we need to use this set value actually so in here uh, on the buttons uh, what is it the, what is the button okay so yeah in this button I'm going to say on click on click so what do I want to do on click on click I'm going to run a callback function callback function and then I'm going to set value I'm going to change the value okay so actually set value okay so I want to s I'm going to s uh, set value to the current whatever um, oops info to the current uh, index whatever the index whatever index of our button uh, whatever index of our button is to the current value okay 
whatever index so here we're getting the index of the button so on click it's going to change the index of the button to whatever we clicked on so we're going to set that to the current to the index okay so we're setting the value to the index of whatever button we click on hence we're going to be able to uh, change the objects so this value is going to update based on whatever button we click on okay so now as you can see when I click on my skills uh, now it's showing the data that data okay so now there's a weird uh, transition we're going to fix it okay now it's showing the data so as long as I click on the each individual so let me show you for example if I inspect this it's going to change the state based on whatever I click on so the state for this one it should be uh, I think it's in tabs let me see yeah when I click it's going to change accordingly at the value state where is it tabs yeah there should be a value state somewhere yeah there is so th there it is that's the value state it's changing accordingly to whatever uh, item we click on okay yeah th that's about it so now let's uh work on this my skills so now we have the like in introduction text uh, text let's go ahead and you know go to the skills in here we're going to be doing some other things as well in here i'm going to say const skills container container in here i'm going to create another component new files this one is going to be a progress bar progress bar .js something like this react functional component and export okay in here i'm going to destruct a few component a few props we have name uh, we haven't created th uh, those yet and then we have image we have progress uh, what else i'm pretty sure we have uh, some way to change the background color so we have bg and then we have description disk just like this description for now if we need anything we're going to change that and then inside the skills we're going to render the progress bar progress progress bar and then we're going to paste in those values okay so these are our props okay so in here the name just set it set it to the what to whatever name you want so this one is going to be oh notice what am i doing name this one is going to be css3 uh, image make sure it's collect spelling don't forget to change that uh, and then for the image we're going to say pro progress images okay so i'm going to select the first image which is css3 so that's why i'm doing zero and then for the progress i'm going to say this uh maybe 89 percent so that's going to be uh, the progress that i want and then we're going to do the background color i'm just going to paste in the value here okay for the background color make sure it's hex hash okay like so oops background color okay so and also the description i'm going to pass in the description all right so now i'm going to save this we should have uh, those values seems like we have an issue because skill uh, progress bar image <sighs> okay so now we have the progress bar but there's nothing in the progress bar we just need to style that okay to be able to display the progress bar in here i'm going to save const oops progress bar I'm going to say const progress 
super stout stout supposed to stout dot diff so it's going to be like a normal diff and then just copy this and replace everything okay all right so in here i'm going to have a class it's going to be skill or progress but uh, it just depends whatever whatever you decide to name it and then i'm going to have a, a container called image and then in here i'm going to have an image i image and the source for this image oops, what am i doing just img the source for this image is going to be the image coming from our props so in this in this case it's the first image we've selected it's on zero the index is zero okay so below that and then we have progress container so progress con which is progress container okay so in there we're going to have a, a paragraph paragraph we are going to have uh, a name and then we're going to have a span inside that span so this span is going to contain the progress uh, the progress itself the progress okay so uh, below that we're going to have another div so this one is going to be progress bar so in this progress bar we're going to have another class this one is going to be the actual <laughs> progress bar it's progress okay all right so for this progress bar it's going to we're going to do an inline style so the style is going to be background background so for the background of this one i'm just going to make it simple so this one is going to be white and for this one we have a bg actually style style and then we have background background okay so for this one is going to be the bg that we are that come that's coming from our props okay so there it is but uh, something's not showing because we haven't done the styles yet but we have the text and the percentage and the image okay so what we need to do now is just to populate this progress bar to whatever to amounts i don't know how many do we need just it depends on how many progress bars you want but in this case i'm going to do six i'm just going to paste in five more all we need to do is just change the information from the name change to whatever name you want and make sure you change the progress images to from zero just going through the index of whatever images you want to use okay so for the first progress bar i'm going to get the index zero for the second i'm going to get index one and so on okay and just mix in the values to get the values you want and the background colors just change the colors to whatever colors you want okay i'm going to save this Okay, as you can see now we have six images okay so now it is uh, time for styling so in here i'm just going to copy uh, the skills container the skills container uh, here i'm just going to do oops dot skills con which is skills container in here i'm just we're going to display this as a grid obviously grid and then grid template columns so for this one we're going to repeat we're going to have two columns and then one fr okay and then we're going to have a grid gap so the grid gap is going to be two ram all right so now as you can see we have nice a nice grid but we're lacking the progress bars because we haven't done the styles for those yet okay all right so now the skills uh we just need to do the uh, progress bar okay so skill container what would we have progress bar okay in here so here that's where we need to target so in here we have skill we have skill which is this container here so skill we're going to do a display flex for that display flex and then we're going to align items to center 
and then inside this queue we have the image if you remember correctly the width is going to be 60 pixels okay and then we're going to target the img the actual image and then width 100 percent all right so now inside this the, the skill the skill section is done we, we are going to go for the progress progress container progress con and then we're going to do flex one to cover the remaining width okay and then padding so the padding went the left side to have a padding okay of 1.5 rem just to make it look nicer okay so and, and then i'm also go going to target the paragraph which 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 have a span inside if you remember and then we're going to do display display flex just for content uh, space between and then we're going to align the item to center okay so we just want to align the items to center and then below that uh, let me show you what we have so far there it is so we're displaying flex the, the text and the span okay so now let's uh, go to the progress progress bar that's what we want to style now so we want the progress bar uh, pro progress container and then we have the progress bar after the paragraph okay so for the progress bar it's going to have a width 100 percent so after the width we can do a height 0.6 oh, what's this weird auto thing 0.6 ram and then uh, we're also going to have a background color so the background color is going to be white background color is going to be white okay so we have a uh, background color and then we're also going to do a border radius border radius is going to be something like 15 pixels okay so yeah that's pretty much it actually we, we need to do the actual progress so now this is the background right so we need the actual progress that goes inside the this uh background on top of the background so we have we have created a class for that so it's called progress if you remember progress progress okay the progress we're going to have uh, height 100 percent so we've already defined defined the width already coming from our props okay so border radius 15 pixels the width is already defined actually the width is not defined yet so progress uh, description we, are, we haven't used the description yet span progress bg background bg oh i'm missing a width so the width uh, the width I'm missing width so the width is going to be uh, the I think the width is the, pr the actual is the progress so the width is the progress the width is the progress so here we're also using the progress as well whatever progress we have so that's the percentage so okay as you can see uh, we've done with my skills but I want this to be active to be always active when I want the selected item, I mean, to be active, whatever item I click on, I want it to be uh, always active whenever I click it. Okay? So to do that, I'm going to uh, say, um, where are the tabs? Okay. So to do, actually, you know what? I'm going to put this in a, in another line. I'm going to do the one click on another line. Just make this more readable. Or oh, indent it. Indent it a little bit. Oh, it looks messy still. Okay, I think I'll just leave it like this. And then, so, f yeah, for the class name, I'm going to surround this. 
Okay, I'm going to use the t uh, template lateral. Okay, so in here I'm just going to do a condition. Okay, so in here I'm going to say uh, a dollar sign. Okay, so the index, which is the index of whatever button we're on. Okay, so whatever index we're on, and if it's if it matches the value of our state, so when I click, of course the value is going to match. It's going to change. Uh, when I click the index, so the button is going to give us the index. That index is going to be stored in our value state, and then they're going to match. So if they match, what what do I want to do? If they match, I'm um, going to uh, add the class name. So if the value, if the index and the value match, I'm going to say active. I'm going to say active, B T N. Okay. So I only want to add this class when the value in the index of the button matches. Okay. So that's what I want to do. So that means every time I click the button, the index and the and the value. Uh, the state value is going to, to be uh, it's going to match so in here I'm going to say active button I'm going to style that so for the active button uh, opacity is going to be one when it's active and then border bottom I'm going to have uh, the same border border bottom so it's going to be the same as the hovering solid and black high zero 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 all right so now when I click this, it should uh, activate the class, but seems to be not working. Uh, I don't know why. Let me double check, save this, save everything. Okay, it's not working. When I refresh this, still not working. That's strange. I'm going to inspect the button. Oh, it says active button here. Okay, yeah, it's the active button is working. I'm pretty sure I've added the active somewhere on the wrong position, wrong location, I mean, active button. <sighs> Let me double check. I think we have named it. Active BTN. Yep. So it's inside the BTN container. Cut this. Cut. Where the heck is the BTN container? I can I can do it here maybe. I can do that there. All right. We still have an issue. Active button. That is strange. Okay, I'll put it back. I have no idea why it's not working, but anyways, we're going to fix it. Border bottom, opacity. Hmm. That's strange. Right, let's see. Let me double check if I've missed anything. Okay, um yeah, I'm not going to waste your time. I'll end the video here and then when I find the mistake I'll correct it in the next video. Okay, I'll see you on the next one. Okay. Um I don't know why it's not overriding the styles for the for the active class. Okay, uh, to override the, those tiles and also this border is not showing. Okay, so let's override those tiles. So only use this if you have to. We're going to override with important for them to show. Okay, important. Only use this when you have to. Okay, so let's override that. And we also want to. So now it's working. We're, we've overridden 
styles and what I want to do for this border for some reason it's uh, not showing so if I go to tabs uh, I believe it's the RGS tabs actually yeah it's tabs border the radius border or oh, this one yeah let's override that with the important okay so it shows it's still not showing that is strange oh it's the border it's not border radius that we want it's just the border actually i don't know why i did border radius so we don't need to override this okay so yeah there it is now it's showing okay so now let's work on the second tab it's the uh, i think the most <laughs> the most annoying one okay but uh, i guess we have to work on it okay so yeah so for the second tab uh it's going to be called i believe personal yeah just name it personal go ahead and create a new component personal .js. i'm sorry about the sirens React functional component uh, personal okay so in here this one is going to be to uh, involve uh, the personal information okay so let me try to rerun the finished product for you to see what I mean okay it should come up some somewhere here all right yes okay yeah so th this is the personal information so we are going to have some buttons here and yeah s uh, some uh, grids so here i've used uh random icons here because i, I just couldn't be bothered to download the icons for the flags for french flag spanish flag so i've just gave you an idea of how to put an icon here but you don't have to use the icons that i've used here you can use your own icons like if uh, english flag or french flag spanish flag i just did as a place or this as a placeholder so now in the personal uh, we're going to say const personal styled and then here we're going to say styled Div. Okay, so I'm going to control C this, control V. Okay, so in here we're going to do an H4. So this H4 is going to say personal skills. So we've already done the personal skills like this. So it's not here. So too bad now what we need to do we need to do those uh, buttons you know these buttons right here okay so we have a special container for those so the, 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 they're going to be called skill container so in here I'm going to create a new component it's going to be skill button button.js so this button is going to have a few properties okay so the first prop is the name and then we have the number and then we have the background so we want each of the b uh, button to have a different background according to the whatever values that you want them to to have okay all right so now in the skill button this one is not going to be that complicated so in here i'm just going to do a class called skill uh, we've done this we've started this skill earlier some as class similar to this okay, and then here I'm going to say skills uh, btn okay so skills btn and then in here we're going to do span so inside the span we're going to have a number which is coming from our props number and then uh, after the number we're going to have a name name number name actually we're going to have a different span we're going to have another span for the name okay so we're going to have span 
Oh my days, my spelling. Span. So the span, this one is going to be uh, name. And then for the skill, it's going to have a style. Style, this one is going to be background. Background, it's going to be our BG that is coming from the prop. Okay. So when I go back to the, uh, close the global style. I need to go to the where progress bar cancel this even the abjs close this skill actually pass yeah personal inside the personal that's where the skill button is going to come in handy I'm going to say skill skill button okay skill button and then i'm going to have uh, those props remember so we did name we did a name prop and then inside the i'm sorry about the noise it's raining outside and then i'm going to do creative and then we're going to do number number so for the number uh, i'm going to say maybe it's up to you actually it's number one so we have number one and then we have the background color so we, we did a, a prop called bg bg okay so we have access to these props inside our component okay so we have a skill button so we have like five of those so i'm going to duplicate for the rest i'm just going to paste and then you just need to change the values to whatever values suits your need I should have five buttons now okay so this component is not showing oh I'm showing the wrong thing okay so we need to show we need a way to show that component here so it should be on personal information okay so when I go to the tabs so it says if the info is zero now I want to target the second the second uh, object from our data okay which is personal information so I'm just going to say uh, else if else if so it's going to be like else so if the is close to zero and then else if it's close to one if it's close to one I want to display a different component so this component is going to be uh, believe what's the name I forgot the name um can't remember what I've named it. Personal, 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 personal. Short memory. <laughs> personal, and then yeah. So if it's if it's close to one, as you can see, we have personal. So that means our object. We are currently active on the first object. So else if it's close to one, do this. Two, do this. Three and four and so on. Okay. Yeah. So now what we need to do is uh, I'll go back to the personal. And then uh, below below that, I'm going to have another cl uh, class name. So this one is going to be awards container. It's going to contain the awards. Okay, so we have awards container. Okay, so here we, we need a, a component called award awards component. And then below that, we're going to create two more components. Okay, but before I do that. I'm just going to style everything up what we have so far okay so uh, we're going to start here we're just going to say display we're going to display everything in a grid so display grid and then we're going to do grid template columns okay so I want the first uh, the first column to have 30% of the width 30% of the width and then the second column I want it to have 70% of the width whatever width there is Okay, we're going to divide this between these things, uh, these two components. So we're going to do skill container. So for the skill container, we have the H4 inside there. I'm just going to do padding bottom, padding bottom of two rem. All right. So the, uh, after that, uh, in inside the skill container, I'm just going to paste in the the background. If you remember our background color. So we did uh, that 
we've used that several times i'm just going to paste in uh, background color down here i'm just going to paste in that and then we have going to have a padding as well so let, let's just see what i mean okay so there it is so we have uh, a nice background color here you see uh, after everything after we have everything you see what i mean because we're displaying a grid so there should be some stuff here but there is nothing yet we're going to create some components for that stuff here okay so that's why uh it's not showing as it should be okay all right so uh after that we're going to say actually it's not it's wrong spelling skill container okay so now there is the background and then we're going to do border radius it's going to be i can't believe the values have been you can do 15 pixels yeah 15 pixels so it's going to be like slightly rounded all right and then uh after we've targeted the skill container now so b inside that we're going to target the actual skill and then i'm going to do padding uh point eight ram and then left and right it's going to be one ram okay and then we're going to do color color white so the scale uh the scale is going to come from uh this award here our container so let's uh, stop doing these tiles now and then let's go and do the skill area all right so now what we need uh, is the personal skill actually uh, where is the skills button oh the skill is gonna come from here okay so that's where the skill is gonna come from here okay so down here in this oops in the personal I'm targeting that skill okay so color white and then we're going to do border border radius 15 pixels margin uh, so the margin is going to be 1.4 rem left and right is going to be zero and then we're going to target the skills button skills btn btn make sure you the uh, class names are okay and are okay display grid and then we are going to do grid template columns and then we're going to say 20 pixels for the first for the first column and then 200 pixels for the second column okay and then the f uh, i'm just going to target the span and the first and the first child of the span not son but span span i'm going to target the first child of that and then give it a width of 10 percent all right i'm going to save this okay as you can see uh we have nice nice buttons here but they're still uh, quite lengthy okay uh what uh skill container h4 h4 is inside this skill container i'm just looking uh oh yeah this one is supposed to be inside the skill container cut this because we want to display a grid between the skill container and the awards so it's supposed to be up here okay okay so now we have personal skill like this personal skills personal skill skills all right so the here are the buttons so now we need to work on the right section here so uh for the right actually not on the right section yeah actually for the right section so for the right section i'm going to create another component it's going to be uh words to js i'm going to do a functional component okay all right so now for the awards um i'm going to i don't know uh 
let me look what kind of Im information we have for the awards all right there it is okay so for the awards i'm going to say const uh, awards styled the div Okay, don't forget to replace this whole thing here. All right, so inside the awards, <laughs> it's going to also render another uh, component. So that's, that is very strange, lots of components. So in here, we're going to say award, award item to JS. Okay, so it's so strange, you're creating so many components award item all right so inside the awards we're just going to render an award item okay so it's going to have a few props we're going to have an icon prop okay icon so the icon that we're going to use i'm just going to copy the icons that we're going to be using in this section so import these icons from the image folder so we have the award icon for the first award item and then we have another prop it's number so number you can i don't know use any random values that you see fit for you okay and then we have text text so text i just say awards i don't know it's up to you the, re the rest is up to you uh, if I go to the award item, I want to destructure those props. So we have uh, icon, number, and then we have text. Okay, so what I need to do is just to utilize uh, those properties inside the award item. Okay, so inside the award item, this one is not going to be that difficult. Let me say const uh, display, no display. <laughs> const award item styled it's going to be the styled and then it's going to have uh, it's going to be a div all right so i'll copy replace uh, the divs all right so in the awards item style i'm going to do an image and then for the source it's going to be the icon that's that is coming from our properties and then below that i'm going to do a paragraph with the uh, class of number and then it's going to have a number number and then below that we're going to have another paragraph it's going to be text okay so here let's just do some random styles we're going to display flex and then we're going to do uh, flex direction, column, align items to center. And then we're just going to target the number. So we want the number class, the number class to have a uh, different uh, color. So the number, so we're going to target the number, this class name here. Okay, we're targeting the number and then we're going to target the P. Okay, and then we're going to say nth child, nth, nth child. So we're targeting the second one. It's going to have a different color. It's going to have like some sort of a reddish color, red color, something like this. Okay, now save everything. We have the award item. All right, so it seems to be not showing yet because we haven't done. We haven't rendered that. So save the award item awards. If I go to personal, in here I'm just going to render the award awards. Okay. Render that there, and then save. Okay, so now we should have some kind of awards here somewhere here. All right. So for this uh awards container, I'm going to copy that awards container. 
actually let me start with the awards first I was styled let me start with this first so in here I'm going to copy that background uh, and the same same thing we've been doing over and over again okay so I'll copy the background we did these styles before okay for this one I think we did 15 pixels for the border radius and the margin bottom to run okay so now we have that you know nice background okay so also we're going to do a display flex display flex and then just by content and then we have space between that's the just by content so whatever items we have here all right so now we've done the uh, awards we've also done the award item so now we just need to go to the uh, we just need to go to the awards container inside the personal I'll copy the awards container class uh, skills container and then I'll do awards container there so for the awards container it's simple so we're going to do padding left want to have a spacing between from the left side to RAM and then we have social uh, social container uh, we haven't done that yet but uh, yeah so now we have nice spacing here okay so now we just need to populate the awards component so the awards we are rendering that inside the awards so we're just going to populate the awards item here so uh, wh what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste in some awards items here. You just need to change the values to whatever values you want and icons you want. Okay, so there they are. So I just change to my own values that I want. It's up to you to change to your own values that you want. All right, so uh, after the awards, we just need to add some... S oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I forgot to put my speakers on silent. Yeah, okay, awards, award item, skew button, skills, don't need that, personal, yeah, we need it for now. Okay, so below the awards, I'm going to create uh, a class. So th uh, this class is going to be, uh, I don't know, we're going to call it something like uh, socials dot socials container something like this so it's going to contain our social icons okay inside the social icons I'm going to have uh, two components I'm going to create another component here uh, this one is going to be language to js or social I don't know it's, it's up to you what you decide to name it so in this case I'm going to name it language so because it's going to have a language and a uh, social okay so in here I'm going to say h4 in here it's going to have a title so the title is going to be one of our props title okay so we have title and then down here we're going to have a class it's going to be social content okay so for the social content we're going to have social icons s icons for social icons okay and then we have img so for the img for the source uh, we're going to have uh, quite uh, some we're going to have quite a lot of icons so we're going to have source one and three icon one two three okay so we have uh, items container and then we have social text so for the text, it's the same thing as the icon. So what I'll do is I'll just paste in some spans and add in the text. Okay, and then here I'm just going to say const language styled Okay. I'll just copy this thing. 
place this and replace so now we just need to do some styles okay so yeah it's the same thing about copying the copying the background because we want to reuse this background over and over again so we're just copying that change this from 8 to 9 okay so this one is going to be 15 pixels 15 pixels yeah and uh, the width for this one is going to be interesting it's going to be 48 percent I'm going to show you why it's 48 percent okay 48 percent and then uh, we're going to target the h4 so the h4 is going to have a padding bottom yeah uh, i think i'll do 2.5 frame for this one 2.5 frame and then we're going to have social social content if you remember social content and then we're going to do display it's going to be a grid then grid template column okay we're going to have 24 pixels for the first column 24 pixels and then one fr so when the width of our accounts will be 24 pixels and then we want to fill the rest of the width okay so uh, below that we're just going to tag the social icons s icons social icons and then we're going to just do uh, display flex i don't waste the time doing the display flex so it's just making the flex in a column column and then we're just going to target the image inside so the image is going to have a padding point point eight ram and then zero left and right okay so uh finally after the icons we're, go we're going to do the text uh, it's going to be dot s text okay so for the text i'm going to have uh, padding padding left Okay, I want a bit of a spacing, so it's going to be 1.5 RAM. And then yeah, it's just the usual, just if you want to do flex, well, we're just going to send a with the flex. Okay, and then I want to target the span inside the the S text, which is going to have a padding of 0 0.8 0 .8 RAM and 0 left and right. Alright, so now we have the language. We need to put those props that we used. So we haven't used those props yet. So we're going to use uh, the language in here. Language. And th what props did we use? Yep, so we used. Uh, wait a second. So we have title. And then we have icon. Yeah, this is quite a lot of props. So we have uh, icon. I'll just paste in the props that we used. So I don't waste your time copying these, these props. Okay. So in the language, just put the props here. Personal. So what I will personally uh, do is I'll import the images that we're going to be using for our props. Okay. I'll import these images so we're going to use that for our props and then for the props just uh, put the props here and put the values you want okay so here are the values that I'm using so we have git English uh, French Spanish so it depends whatever you want so I've already put the values that I want to use okay so here are the two props we have languages language and socials so if I go back to the uh awards container yeah awards container uh we want to style the social container so dot socials container so we want to display flex that display flex those two language items display flex and then we're going to do just by content space between okay and then the width is going to be 100 percent okay like so okay there it is so now we have a uh, nice uh personal information here you can choose to use any icon that you want to use 
so these are just for placeholders okay so the reason i did 40 percent of this box here if i did 200 percent or 400 percent uh, it's going to if i do 100 percent then the, there's there won't be any space here in, in between so if it's 48 if this one is 48 it's going to leave two percent of the the space in between these uh boxes that's why each is 48 percent 40 percent and then the remaining two percent is going to be this spacing in between all right i think uh, that's it for the personal information i'll see you on the next one okay so now let's work on the education system so here we're going to do a timeline so if we go to the education uh, we're going to have a bit of a timeline so we're going to reuse this timeline also in the experience as well we're just going to change the data between the experience and the timeline so it's it's quite not that difficult to do okay so let's uh, let me double check if i'm recording yeah it's recording so okay so now after we finish our personal section i'm just going to create another uh, component so here i'm going to say new file so this component uh, the timeline is going to be the education education the js react functional component and export as you as usual all right so for the education it's like well we're just going to have a class it's going to be timeline timeline oh, i don't know you, sometimes i change the way i name my classes timeline container okay so in here in the timeline container it's going to render a bunch of timelines okay uh, so those bunch of timelines that are going to be each individual timeline component uh, timeline yep dot js so react functional component export as usual all right so we're going to render a bunch of timelines so in the timeline it's quite straightforward i'm going to say const timeline styled which is equals to styled uh, dot it's going to be a div okay so actually while we're doing these tiles i want to be able to see our timeline data uh, let's do ul dot timeline and then we're going to do li so this one's going to be time line item so li timeline item and then we're going to have the left side and the right side so we're going to do time so time oh, not tile time time line timeline left so we have the left and the right so it's still inside the li so we have timeline left and timeline right so we have the right section the left right and left so inside the uh, the right i'm going to have dot time line content content okay make sure it's the correct spelling and then in here in terminal content i'm going to have a timeline text so tl text okay so in here we're going to have an h5 it's going to render prop so this prop is, go is going to be uh, quali qualification qualification and then p it's going to be text you can name these names uh, so, uh, some random general names okay so in the timeline left it's going to have a title so this one is going to be an h5 so this h5 uh, is just going to have the name oops the name okay so we need these props these props are going to come we have name and then we have qualification and then we have text text but we haven't rendered uh, this component yet so the timeline is going to be in the education so in the education wait the timeline is going to be in the education timeline so make sure you render this in here and then you put some your props 
and then you put the values that you want okay so for the name uh, put it to whatever name you want so what I'll do is I'll just paste in some timeline uh, with props already placed so we have make sure we have uh, the correct uh, props so we have the name prop we have the text prop and then we have the qualification prop that's it so remember the props we're using inside the timeline so we have name qualification okay so you can change those values to whatever values you want okay so I'm just using different values here all right so I don't want to waste your time uh, cop copying and pasting I mean duplicating this I don't want to that to waste my time okay so here else if so when skills right and then we're going to do the same thing else if so we're going to say else if if the value is close to now the index is going to be you guessed it it's going to be two so the index is going to be two so when is two we're going to return an education component so when it's close to two we're going to return the education component okay so there oops no it's there <laughs> so here that's the education component okay when it's when it's on two we're returning the education component okay so what i would do is i'll start doing the styles so mainly the styles are going to happen inside the timeline so the timeline that's where the styles are going to happen okay i'm going to do h5 h5 i'm going to say font weight font so depending on the font you are using if you're using the same as mine 500 is going to work very well and then we're going to do font size so the font size for this one i'm going to use 1.2 rem and also i'm going to change the color to black color to black okay sorry uh now i'm targeting the timeline so the t for the timeline i'm going to display that as a grid okay i want it to be in a nice grid and then we're going to have three template columns we're going to have uh, the first column is going to have 25 percent of the, uh, the width whatever width we're cu currently occupying occupying so 25 75 that's a good combination okay so and then uh, we're going to inside the timeline item we're going to target the timeline right okay so the right side of the timeline that's where we're going to target and then we're going to say padding left we're going to give a bit of a padding to the left side so it's going to be like 2 ram and then uh, also border left uh, border left so border left so the border i think i will do like something like two pixels two pixels solid and then ff which is uh, white and then the position is going to be relative because we're going to position absolutely some stuff position relative okay so let me show you what we have so as you can see now we have a display uh, uh, we have, it's a grid so we have a padding here and then we have a line a border left okay so there's a padding between so the more padding you put the more spacing you have okay so we have a nice spacing i mean nice line that's border left okay uh, below that remember we did a tl text which was the timeline text so this one is going to have a padding bottom of 3 ram 3 ram okay so as you can see we have a nice 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 spacing okay that's that now after the tl text so the h5 we're going to do so now this is the parent container the timeline left the timeline right right i mean it's the parent so the position is close to relative I want to create a uh, before suit element and then I want to position it anywhere I want inside within this container. So that's why I put position relative, which means whatever I create a child, when I put to position absolute, it's going to stay within this uh, container. Okay, so I'm just going to do H5 and then I'm going to do before, uh, before pseudo element. And then I'm going to do content, it's going to be an empty string. So we can style this however we want, position absolute. And then we're going to do left actually let me stop doing the left i'm just going to do width now so the width and the height is going to be 15 pixels so change this from width to height 
so height is equals to 15 pixels and then background color is going to be hash ff hash ff ff so we, we and then we're going to have a border radius of four pixels okay and then uh a border an actual border i'm just going to paste in some value here for the border okay so as you can see we have a before pseudo element now there it is so now it's not really positioned nicely so for example if i say left zero i want it to be on this left zero of the padding okay but i want it to be overlapping a bit uh, outside so i'm just going to change uh, from zero to minus so here you have to find the value that you you think looks nice for you so minus 10 pixels worked for me and then top i want to top to be five pixels all right, so now it's like nicely centered in the middle, but we can really see it. Uh, we can see the border below it. So for us, we don't want to see that border. So we're going to change the background color to white. Background color to white. Actually, we did that, but uh, it didn't work. Okay, so now the background color is white. We don't see uh, whatever is behind. Okay, so now here's our timeline. Our timeline is done. So now we just need to work on the timeline for the education system. It's only a matter of reusing the components. So what I'm going to do uh, is in, in the components, I'm just going to create a new uh, component. So this component is going to be like the experience new file. Oops, in the wrong folder. Inside the components, new file. So this one is going to be experience js I'll remove I'll remove I'll remove this personal oh sorry save that create functional component and export all right so uh, so this will be like uh, our experience section so the experience section I'm just going to create another class it's going to be uh, same class we created before time line container so we've done the styles for this one timeline container already so what we just need to do is utilize the timeline again so the timeline uh, here it is so here we just need to put remember uh, the process put the name so just put to whatever values that you want in here so I'm just going to paste in whatever values that I'm going to be using for the props okay so we're just, we are reusing that component component we've created so don't forget to import it up here the timeline okay so i'll save this so i'll go back to the tabs i'll do the same thing else if so i'll do else oops i'll do else if the info is chained to three so if, if um, my target button is three, I'm going to change that to experience, okay? Okay, so now when I go to experience, so now the data change to experience, okay? So we're reusing the same component we used here. We just change the properties to whatever properties we want on the experience. All right, that's pretty much about it. So now we just need to create a, an, about, an about component so here we just do the same thing uh, else if the component is equals to about so here the value is equals to 4 the index of the value so when it's 4 we're going to render the about component okay so I'm just going to create the about the about is just a simple component about the JS react functional component and export Okay, so what I'll do inside the about is just uh, a bunch of text. Okay, uh, so what I'll do is I'll just copy some lorem ipsum text. Uh, I'll just do p lorem. I'll do maybe forty. I'll do lorem forty. And then below that, I'll just break I'll do I'll break uh, we're not rendering the component go to tabs 
change from experience to render the about okay so when I go back to the website now we have the about text uh, we're breaking here and then I'm going to copy this after the break uh, and then I'll paste again oh we're breaking two lines we only want to do one and then we're going to break again and then paste again the text actually here I'm just going to do maybe lorem 20 all right so now we have the about so yeah we've done pretty much everything so the height is working according to whatever information we have okay I mean yeah that's pretty much it uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and please please if you're watching this without subscribing subscribing that's really painful for me just please subscribe it takes so much effort to make these videos thank you I'll see you in the next one